What's up everybody, Bootsy Greenwood here, getting weird with it, raw style. Uh, Robert Anton Wilson, Uncle Bob, uh, talking about the eight circuit model of consciousness. Such an interesting theory, such a really, really groundbreaking idea. This is a map of consciousness coming from birth and, and, and up to you know enlightenment, I guess, for lack of a better way to say it. Um, you know, I guess that's the right way. Enlightenment, sure. Infinity, um, the space of variance, all of that stuff. So last time we talked about the first four levels of consciousness. And, uh, you know, if you hadn't seen that video, I highly recommend going back and checking that out. Don't have quite enough time to recap here because um, we're kind of flying through it. And I'm just giving a basic overview of this. If you're really interested in this, there's a description in the description box below. There is a link to Robert Anton Wilson's playlist talking about this in depth. I only have so much time to go over this and it's absolutely a brilliant model. Remember, uh, as uh, Alan Watts once famously stated, the menu's not the meal, right? Like the, uh, the map is not the territory is what Robert Anton Wilson says in Prometheus Rising. Um, but we're learning uh, a lot and this is stuff that foreshadowed transurfing for me and stuff that was absolutely groundbreaking. Again, I say like, you know, these guys had some amazing discoveries and they were using drugs, but that's not necessary. Um, we're learning through theta healing and these kind of things that we absolutely don't need to use chemicals. But as we're going through, each one of these levels of consciousness are represented by certain chemicals and experiences that can be induced because chemicals are just created in your brain, right? Like emotions are basically chemicals that are just addictive squirting things and, you know, just, you know, just squirting things into your brain. Now I say that not to justify the use of drugs in any way. Um, at the time of this video, I am 100% sober. So like, you know, I'm not advocating the use of any substances. However, there do seem to be some that, um, that, that do correlate, right? So we talked about these fear-based uh, levels of consciousness, these developmental psychology um, s spot uh, stages. And we learn a little bit about this, you know, in college psychology class. Now we never get past the fourth one. Um, and honestly, these are a little bit watered down based on my experience in college. But um, as we get to these higher levels, once we get to the sexual, okay, this, this is the sexual, uh, this last one is the sexual one before we get to these higher level ones. We have to transcend the sexual circuit. Now, here's one thing that I didn't mention last time. So this is, this is eight on its side here. That's infinity. That is, that is the space of variations. That's pure light. That's enlightenment. That's God. That's whatever you want to call that, right? Like that's, we're not reaching that until we die, okay? No way, I, I don't think. Anyway, if you do, congratulations. But, so this is the sun, right? That's what represented by the sun here, and that is shining down on all of this, and these lower circuits of consciousness, the sun shining down casts a shadow. So we do have a shadow here, and this is the stuff that we repress, that we don't like about ourselves, right? We are embarrassed about, and will eventually come back and bite us in the ass if we aren't careful and we don't actually deal with this stuff. So we really do want to get into these higher levels of consciousness and reprogram ourselves in all of these states, you know, in all of these imprints. This was an imprint, this was an imprint, this was an imprint, this was an imprint. This is certain age, this is certain age, ego development. This is certain age when we learn speaking and language, uh, the semantics, the, 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 the separation of reality. And then the fourth is the sexual, where we repress a lot of guilt and shame about how we feel sexually, as well as that's how we learn how to emotionally communicate, okay? So the nuanced things and the dynamics between people and the way we express ourselves with our body and our body language and all of those subcommunication things, those are all developed here as well in the sexual uh, circuit. Now, what's happened over time and why yogis take a vow of celibacy is because they want to surpass the sexual uh, circuit to get into these higher states of consciousness. Now, it's not necessary to, uh, to take a vow of celibacy. Um, there are other ways about it, particularly Tantra. And if you're a guy, 
this might not be the best news, but uh, you want to hold on to your chi, okay? Basically, that means you want to not ejaculate, okay? Um, so there's a lot of power in your semen. There's, that's, that's what they call your chi in the East. And if you can hang on to that, you can really have some amazing lightheaded high type of experiences. Now, it's a little bit different for women, but that doesn't mean that you can't have sex. What that means is Tantra is the act of, of having sex and having a partner, but you're not ejaculating. You're holding all of that energy in and then it explodes through the top of your head and it puts you into these higher states of consciousness. And that's one technique. I could talk about more, but I'm not going to. I'm developing these ideas and trying to put them together with a lot of these transurfing ideas and other ideas because I wanna, I wanna create something that is very special. I wanna create something that's really helpful for people and can bust them through and help them to reprogram themselves and really live uh, the kind of lives that they want with all this social conditioning, which I've mentioned many, many, many times, but I wanna be able to help people really, truly bust through that, right? Because we can't see we, we don't know what we're not aware of. We don't understand how we're socially conditioned until we can get to a higher perspective. So one way of getting past the sexual circuit is like I said, celibacy. And then another way is through Tantra. So that's why you hear a lot of spiritual people will do that. Now we get to the fifth uh, circuit of consciousness. These all sort of mirror right? As we go up the ladder of consciousness, these all start to sort of mirror the other ones, right? One and a half, okay? So this one goes to this one, goes to this one as well, right? And then this one and so on, like, and it just continue, they continue to build up. But the fifth level of consciousness is more compassion, more empathy, okay? This is when we can understand someone else's situation. And Robert Anton Wilson says that the THC, tetrahydrocarbonoid, uh, those, those receptors in the brain can help us to understand and be more empathetic. At this point in consciousness, the fifth circuit of consciousness, we start to look down on these lower forms of consciousness and they don't mean as much. The maternal thing is like so fear-based and we can actually see it. Um, the paternal part is like, oh, well, that's kind of silly. That's just like, oh, I caught a fish that's a little bit bigger than yours or whatever, a competitive nature. Um, and, then, and then semantic and, and the sexual stuff just doesn't seem like, well, you know, I mean, yeah, that's, but that's not such a big deal. I'm not so focused on, you know, having sex or being sexually active or whatever. So compassion and empathy are more developed here. And again, I'm not saying that you need to use drugs, but that's the substance or the chemical that Robert Anton Wilson talks about in this particular model, okay? And then as we go up, we get into more, uh, more of the psychedelic stuff. So this would be like, um, um, whoops, not spelling very well today. Uh, more like, like a microdose, right? Isn't that so hot right now? Like, oh, we're microdosing. Look at us, we're, uh, we're Silicon Valley billionaires. We, we microdose, we go to the bank. Um, Anyway, um, but the idea here is that we start to get a bigger awareness of ourselves. We start to step a little bit outside of who we think we are. We start to disidentify with who we think we are. Okay, that's the, the sixth level of consciousness there. And then as we get up, this, in, this here is the metaprogrammer level. And these are a lot harder to talk about, and you'll hear Robert Anton Wilson say that they're very hard to talk about because... Well, as we get into stuff that you can't describe with words, it's very difficult to describe them without, without, with, with words. But like LSD, we have psilocybin, um, as well as you know, um, let's say um, mescaline, um, as well, and some of those types of experience, which Carlos experiences, which Carlos Castaneda talks about. And also, so does Robert Anton Wilson, and of course, Timothy Leary talks a lot about these experiences. Now again, I'm not advocating the use of any drugs. I'm merely pointing to a chemical link between an experience and a chemical. That's it, that's all I'm saying. Um, I'm not saying you should ever do any type of thing 
Uh, in fact, you own yourself. It's up to you. You do whatever you want. I really don't care. Uh, if you want to, if you want to experiment with drugs, then that's your choice. As far as I'm concerned, right? Like other than the legal stuff, um, do whatever you want, uh, roll around in broken glass, uh, you know, like hop on a donkey and ride around. I don't care. Uh, but my point is very simply that I'm not advocating the use of anything here and nor would I. Um, but I am just pointing out that there are some causal, uh, or some similarities between these experiences and, and the chemicals themselves. So there's also a lot of um, a lot of uh, similarities between the days of the week, which is very interesting. Um, and so, like uh, Sunday, for instance, the seventh the seventh day of the week is the sun, okay, which I have here um, represented, and that is this brightness, that is this more God consciousness, this more a sense of sense of oneness, a sense of belonging, and then there's also the eighth, which is infinity, which is the space of variations, which is also the crown chakra, which is also death, which is also uh, dimethyltryptamine, which is DMT, which is the release of that chemical in the body. Now this, like, I don't think you even have an identity here anymore. Like at this point, you're just like basically just mashed potatoes, just this oblivious, you know, sort of amalgamous uh, droplet. You go back into the water, right? In the ocean, in Vadim's example, you drop back into the ocean of infinite consciousness. This is also what they call 8E, okay? They call it 8E, also the space of variations. Um, and that is uh, what a lot of quantum physicists and stuff are calling, uh, you know, the, the, this, this information grid. And so Robert Anton Wilson talks about how information travels faster than the speed of light somehow. So information travels faster than the speed of light. That's why the sun is actually number seven, not eight, because the information field surrounds us, maybe, who knows, we can't see it, but it's everywhere at all times, at all places. And when we're in a state like one of these higher states right here, then we're much more tuned in via our subconscious mind. And when we're in this metaprogrammer state, we can come here and we can fix any of these uh, imprinting issues that we've had earlier through childhood, you know, any of these issues that we've had growing up and we can go through and we can actually repair and, re and you can actually program yourself to do anything. You can program yourself to be a vegetarian or a vegan and you will literally feel you know, this awful feeling when you see somebody eating a steak, right? Or you could uh, not program yourself that way. It's, 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 it's totally up to you as the meta programmer, as the individual, as the, the conscious being, this particle of God that you are, for you to determine exactly how you want to program yourself, your life, your uh, ideas. As Vadim says, you know, like, it's all about being exactly who you are and allowing everybody to be exactly as they are. So that means that we want to wipe away these things, these feelings of importance, right, which are guiding us constantly, subconsciously, as well as the pendulums that are the social conditionings that are all around us, luring us here and luring us there and giving us these false uh, beliefs about ourselves. Now, one thing that's cool about Robert Anton Wilson is he says that we all have belief systems and he calls those are BS. <laughs> so having less of a belief system is much more freeing. It allows you to operate in these higher states of consciousness, be a more compassionate and empathetic person, see from a broader perspective, and not be so self-involved. So that's a great reason to go on this journey of transurfing, of going on this journey of self-discovery, of self-actualization, and get to a point where you can literally decide and ask yourself who you really are. What is your essence? And then you can program your essence into who you are. It's like, you don't have to be a victim, okay? And in fact, if you believe you're a victim or if you believe you're not a victim, either way you're right. Because as the thinker thinks, the prover proves. Whatever you think, you will prove. Reality is a mirror as we know. And so what we wanna do is we wanna bust through all of this stuff 
and like the way he talks about you know this is like you can start here with uh, you can start here with like yoga, okay. You start here with yoga and surpass this stuff, okay. And then you can come and you can do like a mantra here and surpass this stuff. And then when you get into the semantic, or yeah, I believe that's right. And then it's a pranayama, which is a breathing exercise, is, is the way that they talk about it. And then this is um, um, tantra. So to go through it, you start here with yoga. And then you use a mantra so that you can cut away you know, all this st extraneous crap in your head. Use a breathing exercise in order to calm your mind down and be able to tune in to your heart the, the, so you can hear the, the whisper of the morning stars, the rustle of the morning stars. And then we can use Tantra to continue to increase our awareness higher and higher and higher until we get to the seventh level of consciousness, which is the meta programmer. So this was just a really interesting thing I wanted to break down that I'm trying to put together and dovetail with Transurfing as well as some other ideas because I've got um, some other stuff by Vadim that's really cool um, that I've been able to, to check out and it, man, it, it's, it's mind blowing. Like he just keeps cranking it out and it's getting better and better and I wanna really share some more of these ideas with you as I continue to develop and put these things together. I want to package it in a way that I can say, hey, here's something for you guys if you choose to use it. And here's some techniques, some very, uh, some very tried and true and tested techniques for you to take transurfing to another level. Because transurfing lays it out beautifully. Like there's not a better model. It, there's just not. This is a great map of consciousness, but it's not very practical because it doesn't, it just says, oh, well, you could use LSD to get, no, that's, you know, like that's dangerous. Uh, but even with transurfing, it's like, these are some great theories here. We can figure these theories out, which is awesome. Uh, but again, like we want more practical, like how do I release importance? Like what's besides giving up on the thing, right? Which is easier said than done. How can I actually do that? And so I'm working with some people to try and put some of these ideas together for you guys. And I just kind of wanted to give you a brief overview of the eight circuits of consciousness discovered by Timothy Leary and then uh, expounded upon by Robert Anton Wilson or Uncle Bob as he's affectionately known in the community. Um, give that link down below a, a click and check out some more of Robert Anton Wilson's stuff. I'll have a link down there as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Be sure to get on the 20 day transurfing course. That's the top, Those are the people that I'm working with on this stuff. And then uh, be sure to follow me on uh, patreon.com slash Bootsy Greenwood. I have extra stuff there. And then go to gumroad.com slash Bootsy Greenwood. And there's a bunch of free stuff. And I've learned that stuff over the past six, seven years. Uh, I've been, you know, accumulating information, transurfing, absolutely changed my life and I wanted to share that and I'm so glad I did because I wouldn't be here making this video had I not but I really appreciate everybody all your support all your comments all your kind words drop me a, a comment below like the video share it um, and, uh, and stay tuned check out the reality transurfing podcast check out transurfing tv and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time take care thanks a lot